About a month ago, I bought Tech Tech DIY Concrete. Tech Tech DIY Concrete is super cool because it allows you to make whatever concrete obstacle you want. But this stuff is actually super cool. If you don't like the obstacle that you made, you can just put this right back into hot water and it becomes very flexible again and you can shape it into whatever you want. But there is one problem about this. It just doesn't have the same feeling as actual concrete. So today, I will be challenging myself to make my very own concrete obstacle completely from scratch. If you have been watching the channel for a while, you might remember I made this. So this concrete barrier has quite a few chips in it, so I really wanted to make a new one, so that is what we're doing today. So in order to make this, we need to make a mold. I took a piece of paper and cut out this little template piece, so this is going to be the end of our barrier. This is foam board. You can find this at pretty much any dollar store and it's also very cheap, so it's the perfect thing to build a mold out of. This stuff has paper on the front and back with foam in the middle. Now it is time to trace two of these onto the board. These are the two pieces going on each of the ends, so now I need to make the piece going in between. Once this is finished, I don't really want to see like the hot glue seams or any sort of seam in general, so I have a better idea. I cut out a piece of paper and we are going to wrap the paper around here and trace the marks that we need to have bends. I know this doesn't make sense, but trust the process. This is my idea. We have both of these here, we have this here, and because there is a layer of paper on each side, if we cut one layer of the paper, the foam is gonna break, but it'll stay intact because of the other piece of paper. I know it doesn't make sense, but trust me. <laughs> Once we have one side cut, we're able to kind of bend it around this shape, so then we won't have any seam. The ultimate straight edge. So now technically, if we cut through one layer of paper on all of these lines, we should be able to bend this right around this shape and then it'll be super clean. I think this might actually work. The only thing we need to do is hope that it actually matches with this cutout. I would say we did a pretty good job. So the mold is now complete, which means we are ready to mix up some concrete and put it in here. If you're ever mixing up cement, just know that a little bit of water does go a long ways. I want to eat this because it kind of looks good. It looks good in like a super strange way. We don't want to make this too moist because it could soak through the entire mold itself. And also it would take a lot longer to dry. So I'm leaving this pretty thick. No, that was the greatest thing that has ever happened. That actually worked pretty well. I got concrete all over my favorite shirt. Tech Tech DIY Concrete is definitely a lot easier than this. That was so stressful putting this in the mold. <laughs> I always underestimate how fast this stuff actually sets. The main problem is the seam on the bottom blew out because I forgot to reinforce it with hot glue, so it was literally just one piece of paper holding all of that weight. After the bottom blew out, I had to try and figure out how to clamp it together, but I think it's set enough where we don't need any clamps. Right. 
I've done pretty much everything I can to make this as good as possible, but now we just need to hope that it turns out. I actually think this will work pretty well. I think I'm gonna wait about 24 hours before we take this out because I definitely don't want to take it out and have it break because it's not strong enough. So see you tomorrow. Two days later. It has now been a little over two days, which means this should be ready to take out of the mold. I actually have no idea if this actually turned out or not, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to take this out of the mold. Meanwhile, the concrete barrier is now complete. This barrier definitely turned out a lot better than my last one, so I'm excited to see how it feels. But first, we gotta put some wax on it. Right now, the concrete is crumbling a little bit just because the edges are pretty sharp and concrete is pretty brittle. This actually goes so good. For most concrete obstacles, it definitely does take a couple days of using it just for it to fully break in, but this does feel pretty good already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.